My name is Josephine Skinner. Um, I'm a Sydney-based artist and um, I've got three works in the social exhibition um, and they're called Alone Together, um, Hopelessly Devoted, which is a series of five video works, and Love Story, which is um, the two, two looped videos in the foyer. All the video and audio in my work comes from YouTube. I guess that's, that began because I, I just couldn't create the kind of images that I wanted to create. And YouTube was this amazing repository of, of source material. Initially, I think I was drawn to the mediated, uh, mass-produced kind of film or TV material. And then I became more and more fascinated by videos that were user-created, user so either people performing in front of the camera or expressing themselves through text or, or even just the things that they would choose to upload, even if it was TV shows, the very fact that it was important to them to, to put that up there. I'm really interested in how um, the very nature of YouTube and the, I suppose as a database and with the search mechanisms and um, the related videos kind of functions, you, you start getting a sense that while we all think that we're very unique, uh, we're actually, we're, many of us are doing very similar things. And I'm especially attracted to and interested in the emotion and the, the way that we're kind of, um, we desire the, the, the melodrama and the, the sort of the romance that we see perhaps in TV or film or consumer advertising and how we want to bring that into our own lives. And so there are kind of cultural pre-existing narratives like so social scripts like karaoke uh, or cliches um, or self-help mantras uh, that we that are shared and and we reuse those so there's there's kind of a convergence of individual um, different ways of being creative with the same text and then on the on the other side the fact that we're as you say, we're kind of a collective consciousness. We're, we're all kind of tapping into the same thing. So Alone Together uh, is a video installation of, I think, 21 looped uh, pieces of video um, with audio playing on discarded old CRT TVs. And they're piled up. Uh, with street found furniture to, to kind of look like the TVs that we all see on, on the side of the street. Um, and I chose uh, a selection of, I think, four or five self-help seminars or TV shows on YouTube and just selected the moments when the camera would look to the studio audience and I would then, I then looped those moments to try and make it look like the camera was indefinitely looking at, at the audience and playing um, at different intervals throughout from the monitors are affirmations that I also found on YouTube and the affirmations talk about, you know, they're like, uh, I am connected or I am a being of light and love um, I, I, am, I am valued and all of these sentiments that apply to us as uh, individuals in a self-help culture but also apply to the technology itself um, which, has been out, which is now outdated and superseded with digital and it's kind of a reflection on how our notion of audience has changed in the network era and so these old ideas of audiences are, are also outdated but in either case whether it's uh, analog or digital we're, we still have the same desire for love and connection and I suppose we're still we're still we still have that vulnerability 
Um, so being in a network, network culture doesn't mean we're necessarily more connected. In my work, Love Story, which is installed in the foyer of the social, um, it has two components and the text component is probably a good example of um, how narrative uh, is, a, is a key aspect of, of what I do. So I've selected multiple YouTube videos in which users upload uh, their own text, so they animate text um, and their uh, romantic quotes, cliches, love sayings, and then on the, rev on the sort of reverse side, uh, heartbreak quotes and um, broken heart sayings. Um, and what I do is I transcribe those, those quotes and sayings and select, um, select sections which refer from, uh, to a, a you, um, and then re-edit them into one, into a singular monologue. So it's like, uh, it's like it's speaking from one, just one person to another. Um, and in that sense, um, I'm trying to, I'm kind of creating what I think of as a hyper-narrative. So I'm taking existing narratives and then I'm bringing them together um, and it kind of exaggerates the sentiment. Um, so, so they go from being, um, you know, head over heels in love to um, paranoid about the other person's feelings, um, then to, to heartbreak, to, to hate, and then it swings uh, back round again to being in love and infatuated. And so there's this um, ongoing loop of emotion.